Hey. Oh, good morning, YouTube. Um, I have another book today. Um, this book is called God Speaks Your Love Language. And it's by uh, Gary Chapman. Um, now, I haven't read this book yet. I just checked it out from the local library. Um, and just to <laughs> re reacquaint you with me um, so that you not feel like you've been deceived or whatever, I don't believe in God or gods. Um, so I guess in that way I'm an atheist or something like that. Agnostic, atheist. Uh, I, I, I'm just telling you I don't believe in God. However, um, there are, I, I do believe in spirituality, meaning that um, there's something about you, your smile, your your laugh, your tears. Um, there's something about the look in your eyes when you describe something in your life that's that was fun, that was important, that was exhilarating, or uh, or real sad. You know, there's just something about that that I can connect with, that I feel. Um, that's the spirituality that 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 I understand, and. Uh, um, in that way, I think that one human being can change the life of another human being. Um, they have impact. So in that way, I think that some people who who do believe in God or gods, um, that they connect with that emotional nature that I'm talking about, that about how they feel and their their passion about it, um, their experiences along those lines um, are, are important to uh, recognize the those moments, those ideas, those thoughts that carry over the the depth of humanity, of how a woman or a man um, sees life, feels life, tastes life and can convey that to another human being um, in, in many ways. You can convey it with a smile, with a laugh, with a cry, with a hug, with a camera, <laughs> or through the video screen. So let's get to it. Um, God Speaks Your Love Language by uh, um, Gary Chapman. Uh, I just, uh, I think everyone carries a language of love I inside them, whatever, and, you know, <laughs> uh, all that. I, I don't even want to get into all that kind of stuff. So I don't even know what this book is about, right? The love language. I know that that exists, so I know that just about anywhere I turn to in this book, um, there's going to be something good. So, okay. Um, so this is going to be something about God, pretty much. Okay, here's something. Um, chapter 8, Learning to Speak New Dialects of Love. We are creatures of habit. From the time we rise in the morning, we tend to go through the same routines day after day. Think about it, how different was this morning from yesterday morning. Chances are, as you made your way from the bed to the bathroom, your day began much as every day for months. The soap, the toothbrush, the washcloth, the toilet, they are typically approached in the same order. Now there is nothing wrong with order. In fact, doing the same things in the same order may even conserve time. But 
Repetition may also foster dullness and eventually boredom. People are in innately creative. As we tap into our creative nature, life becomes more exciting and less predictable. For a number of years, I have purposefully, purposefully chosen to vary my morning routine at least one day a week, simply for the sake of variety. Maybe I have a breakfast before shaving, rather than afterwards. Perhaps I eat breakfast in a suit and a tie, <laughs> um, rather than in my flannel pajamas draped over a v-neck t-shirt or over uh, a v-neck t-shirt. I may even break my grapefruit or Cheerios routine and try something really radical like white grape juice and frosted flakes. Some people have a routine of eggs, sausage and grits and sawmill gravy, but for me that is about an ounce a year splurge, a once a year splurge. I have enjoyed this bit of morning creativity so much that I have even begun to work it into the rest of my day. Nothing breaks the dullness of the afternoon like a 20 minute drive to the other side of town to savor uh, two Krispy Kreme donuts with skim milk of course. After such an outing I can walk back into the office feeling like I have been on an adventure. A growing number of employees are learning the value of such many vacations in the middle of the workday. Variety stimulates the mind and crea creativity livens up what could be a life of monotonous routine. So pretty cool. Um, did you get it? You know? I, I, I get it right away. Um, and, and you do too. And I'm not saying that you don't or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, variety. Do something different during the week or whatever, like you suggested. That, that's a pretty good idea, you know, the variety to break up the idea. Um, something new and creative, you know, uh, like passing the word that, um, that, the United States government is a corrupt body of people who, who do stuff that are um, really corrupt and, and hurting other people. <laughs> you know, it's understanding that that's what's happening. Um, that uh, bankers and um, many bankers and, and banks, the Federal Reserve Bank is a secretive body that um, they don't let you know what the dealings are behind those those doors. There's no transparency. They've never been audited. Um, those kinds of things, you know. Finding out that all of those companies had secret contracts signed to get bids for the military and all that stuff, you know. Uh, being creative to, to think about those things. <laughs> anyway, uh, the thought for the day... Um, God speaks your love language, you know. Um, and I love America. I absolutely love America. I've been in every state, traveled all around. I love it, man. Beautiful. Lots of people, lots of different kinds of character. And I want it to be free. So uh, I say we have a revolution. <laughs> you know what, and get all that stuff, get it back to, to common law and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, <laughs> you know, March 22nd, or is it 23rd today, you know what, 22nd I think. Have a great day. Peace.